get through it And the only thing I know is to live what I'm doing Never give up, never slow until I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact never look What's going on Z-Squad and welcome back to Project Zangetsu And welcome to part 2 of the Breakpad install video series uh, I am your host, as well as my channel, and welcome back to another episode of the awesome life of car culture, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is part two, sadly. Um, part two kind of undoes what I said in part one as far as this video modification video, because now the installation has become a bit of a hodgepodge of different brands. Um, I wasn't able to get Brembo's for the rear brakes because the spare shop that I got the front ones didn't have them. I'm not going to mention their names because I'm not trying to distribute anyone. Um, they didn't have, they had the fronts but not the rears. And uh, the spare shop that I eventually went to, I didn't have quite the budget for me to get the Brembo's. So I settled for a cheaper brand. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry mostly to myself, actually. I wish I could have done Brembo's with both front and rear, but I couldn't sadly. So I picked up a set of BBC disc brake pads. They're significantly cheaper. I'm hoping they're gonna last as long because the ones that we changed in front uh, was also a very cheap brand, but um, they seem to be almost no wear on them, you know, considering how long we had them until now. So I no, no longer have that little faith in cheaper brands. I think they should last as long as they need to. So anyway, uh, on with the install. Welcome to day two of part two of my uh, brake pad install. So anyway, the reason why um, there's been such a time jump is because or, uh, initially I was given the incorrect uh, size of brake pads by accident by the space shop. No fault of their own. I didn't go there with a the sample the first time. So this time around I actually did go with a sample. And these do look correct. So we're about to find out if they actually are. So stay tuned amplifies everything that is inside so good becomes great bad becomes worse this is why you were chosen because the strong man who has known power all his life may lose respect for that power but a weak man knows the value of strength and knows compassion Thanks, I think. I am the difference between what it means to be good when you're trying to be epic. No, you don't gotta believe in me. Nothing can stop me. I already said it. I'm taking everything they stole from us. You got your problems, I'm a whole nother. I'm giving people something to believe in. I'ma show them freedom like a bone cutter. Breaking chains over here, yeah. And you can stay over there, stay. Cause this is revolution mixed with execution. We insane over here, yeah. We taking over, making no. We're done with the install. Um, I'm basically now going to be taking it through for a test drive. Um, just so I'm clear, that means we're both we're done with both the front and the back uh, brake pad replacement, both left and right side. So now we're about to go for a test drive, as well as a bit of a break-in process because you know when you've got new brakes. You shouldn't just, you know, get into driving hard and using them to their maximum potential. You need to kind of break them in so that they can wear in such a way that adjusts to how your brake disc is currently. Um, and that might take maybe a day or two of just some moderate driving until it's sort of in place. And then you can go ahead. So, test drive. That means cold start.
Okay, so, so far so good. Um, I'm not hearing any scraping whatsoever, which is an awesome feeling because it means that my first solo brake pad install, both front and back, was a success. There was a bit of a panic earlier on because um, I felt a bit of a wobble somewhere in the car. Um, it sounded like it was coming from my back right side. Um, it felt like that brake disc was wobbling. I was very worried as to what could have been the problem, but it turns out that um, all it was was uh, the fact that I didn't tighten the wheel properly um, on that on that aftermarket rim that I've got on the car. Um, the wheel nuts are deep into the rim itself, so it's hard to get the wheel spanner in there. And I think at some point I kind of forgot as I was struggling to tighten the wheels. So that was a big relief because I thought something ca catastrophic had gone wrong um, with my brake install. Like I, you know, messed up some. But turns out I just needed to tighten the wheel and now we're A-OK. -okay. So I am going to go and park somewhere dope to do the closing of this vlog. So I'll see you. to the end of the vlog. Um, so the test drive went great, uh, the car is fucking awesome. Uh, in fact, in some ways it's feeling even better than it did when I first got it. Um, I think that could be due to the fact that um, the brake pads may have already been a bit old, not necessarily wearing, but have been a bit old by the time I got it. And uh, maybe there wasn't a need to change them for a very long time because I did notice a lot of rust just inside the caliper itself. So maybe now that I've tinkered down there, not that anything special, but just tinkered, uh, it may have improved things somewhat, sort of loosened things up, if you will. So yeah, that's going to conclude today's video, today's install video. Thanks for watching. If you've stayed till this far in the video, uh, I appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this, please click on the thumbs up icon and leave us a like. And if you'd like to see more from Unfamiliar Entertainment or Project Zangetsu, please click subscribe and be sure to ring the bell icon so you are notified each and every time I drop new content on this year's channel. Um, please look out for more stuff coming. I am scouring the internet for some car meets to go to now that my car is no longer embarrassingly loud when I stop. So look out for that. There'll be some of that. Car shows, car meets. Um, there's some people who I've come into contact with who've agreed to have me review their cars on my channel. So look out for that as well. I'm not going to give out any details, but those should be uploading soon. So as usual, thanks for hanging out with me, people. I have been Zwede to my family, and I always urge you to take care of each other, stay awesome, and stay chasing your dreams to infinity and beyond. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing